Hey everybody, David Rainwater and Teresa Neff here with GSC Logistics. Teresa, happy Blue Friday to you. Oh, I'm Thanks. sorry, Teresa. You know what? That's a Seattle thing. You're down in the Bay Area. Ah, don't, don't worry about that. We got bigger things to cover today, though, than you know, a little interdivision rivalry. Much more important things like this peak season that will not go away. Why don't you catch us up where we are? We told the team that we would get back to everybody and give them an update. So where are we right now? David, first, let me just put it out there that I am a Broncos fan, so <laughs> no offense taken, um, no rivalry there. But David, the name of the game right now in the supply chain is capacity. We are still experiencing all-time high consumer demand and imports fighting for space. Carriers are looking for alternatives to the LA port again because congestion is building and it looks like they're beginning to direct capacity to the other Western great gateways, which is good for us. Um, the ports of LA and Long Beach have experienced a drop in the inbound TEUs because warehouses are full and there's still problems getting, you know, chassis and equipment down there. In Oakland, the vessel bunching is dropping to a new low, which is great news. And although the calls to the port are down, the volume of the containers is up. That means that we are offloading fewer, but larger vessels as they come in. And in the Northwest where you are, um, we're still experiencing a capacity shortage on the rail. And it looks like shipments are being metered um, to go inland so they're not inflicting more congestion in the Midwest. Well, folks, it may not be what you wanted to hear, but as promised, we wanted to give you an update of what's going on in this peak season that will just not go away. Thank you again, and we look forward to sharing more with you in the future. Take care.